Hi guys. So I know I'm a little early, but Jeremy worked a day shift today, so he should be home this evening. And we all know how what happened last time he was home. That was a disaster. So I figured I would hop on now while dinner's cooking, while I'm waiting for him to come home and all that. So then I got gummies because I'm hungry. All right. We're talking the perpetual party rewards tonight. There was some, like, nobody knew what they were for, where they were, things like that. So, I'm starving. Okay. Perpetual party rewards. The original creation was this. Sue has a party. And at Sue's party, Jill says, oh my gosh, I want to book a party too. So, at Jill's party... Sue gets a gift because she had somebody book off her party. That is the perpetual party reward. You're keeping the party going. That is the reward. That's technically, technically what it is supposed to be used for. Now, what you decide to use it for is completely up to you. It is a half-priced item. Um, it works just like all of the other half-priced items do. And um, when you find it, how to find it... Um, so you're in the party, in your workstation, you're in the party. And up at the top, there's the top gray part that tells you like your host base and stuff like that. When you click it, it's going to be in there and it's going to say perpetual party rewards and it's going to ask you who you want to give it to because you could give it to anybody. Now, what you do with it is up to you. Um, if I have a host who worked really hard and um, has, you know, we can't control, they can't control their friends. Friends, you may have the best friends in the whole wide world, doesn't mean they're gonna order anything. And that's not 100% your fault. If I have a host who worked really hard in her party, but still didn't quite um, get to rewards or just barely hit rewards, I'm gonna give it to her. Um, if I have a host who didn't work hard and just hit that 200, she ain't getting it. Um, you can use it for you, you can use it for your current host, you could use it to somebody else, you can use it as a, you know, a booking gift. If somebody booked in that party, then you can use that perpetual party rewards. It is whatever you want to do with it. Again, technical description, somebody books off a party, the original host gets a gift because she had somebody book. Think about back when we did home parties and there was always a gift, like if you book a party now, here's your gift. Like, that's kind of what it was supposed to be for. Um, but you use it for whatever you want. And like I said, where it's located is in your workstation, open parties, like when you're going to go in and add people to the party, okay? You're already in there. You're going to add people to the party. You're going to click the little button at the top because you have, I'm trying to think, you have like your customer section where all of your customers are listed with, their, with what you've inputted in, okay? Then you have your host's cart, you know, where the, where you would put your host's rewards, their half price items, things like that. You have that section. It is the little section above it. If you do not click it, you will not see it. you got to click the button up there and it's going to open it up and it's going to say perpetual party rewards and ask you who you want to give it to. Um, again, use it for whatever you want to use it for. It's a great tool. For bookings it's a great tool to build up your stock if you want to build up stock um, it's a great little incentive I personally I give every host rewards every single host no matter if you get a $5 party or a $500 party everybody gets rewards from me and I can do that with using the perpetual party rewards um, so it's up to you play around with it use it for whatever you want use it for yourself use it for somebody you know to book use it for the host who did really good my thought is here's my two cents I don't want to pay for shipping for it so if my host is living far away and her order is not coming to me because I try if my hosts are local they always come to me so I could sort and put goodies in it if this party is not coming to me at all we ship in it. We're going to give it to that host or somebody over there because I don't want to pay additional shipping. If, um, now I've also done it too where my host is like every single person who's ordered online, which is very rare, but everybody ordered online and my host 
gives me her rewards, her total, what she wants her rewards. I have taken it and what I've done is I've put her, what she wanted to use her rewards for, I've put it in full price, had it shipped to her so that I personally now have you know, a party that has rewards shipping to me and change the host to me. And then I use the perpetual party rewards that way. And that's how I get a lot of my um, box stuff, my mystery box stuff, because, you know, Sue has a party, everybody ordered online. Her rewards are, you know, $20 and free and two half price. So she sends me her list. Okay, cool. Well, I'm just gonna put it in full price. I'm gonna ship it off to her and I'm gonna use her half price and her rewards. And that's how um, I get a lot of times I get my box stuff. That's my goal is at the end of the month, every all end of the month, I have a party that's ready, waiting, $200, go. Um, but perpetual party, whatever you want it for. Half price item, or it's the same as all the other half price items. No sales, um, no big bundles, meaning the two warmers with six bar bundles, no um, diffusers, um, nothing over 50, I think is what it is, or nothing over 55 can be used for half price items, no licensed products, things like that. Anything in your catalog that has an asterisk next to it or on the product sheet, you cannot use a half price reward for. Um, I think that's about it. But I knew there was some confusion as to what it was and where it was and what you can do with it. So hopefully that helped you guys. It's really not complicated. You just have to know to go in and click that little box above the host's cart in the workstation. Go to the workstation, open orders, edit orders, the host box where you would stick all of the host rewards and half price, you have to click the gray section above it. Click that and that's where your perpetual party rewards is. So if you have any questions, let me know. I think this really was a short one. So everybody have a good evening.